as usual, my dad's sitting right where mom's sitting, turning on the TV and stuff. Mom's supposed to go outstairs because Joey's crumbling noises and stuff. And she thought it was a tornado. She was right. And dad waited until he saw trees coming at him. He went up in the basement. He didn't even get down all the way until it was over. And where were you? I've been in, I was in the basement for almost 20 seconds until he came. He never even made it all the way down. He just made it on the first step. And when um, the tornado just, came, you know, up there with the back of the house down, Miss, Mr. Headley, and he was not home. He was somewhere shopping. Luckily, because his roof got torn off, all his floors were cracked. It ruined his house bad. Luckily, he wasn't home. Yeah, and I looked out the window and I seen the boat and the trailer and everything was up spinning in the air. The boat landed. We had the boat pulled in behind the house, clean it up for the use on uh, Memorial Day. And uh, the boat landed about uh, 75 feet from the house whenever it landed in the woods. And had a hole up through the bottom. Uh, after that, after I seen that, then I told her I was going to the little bathroom on the first floor because that's where we always said that we would meet if uh, something would happen like this. And I started in out of the kitchen towards the uh, uh, small bathroom and the front door flew open and it just sounded like a freight train coming. And I went in the bathroom, shut the door, and I tried to open the door but the wind was just that great that I couldn't, couldn't even get the door open. Uh, the storm probably only lasted 45 minutes to a minute at the most. 45 seconds. 45 seconds, I mean, uh, to a minute. And uh, then I came back out, of the, got out of the bathroom, and went to try to find her because she never came <laughs> in with me. I had gone around. We had a stairwell that you could go around the whole way around. And I went the opposite side of the hallway. So I got as far as the laundry room door and I just felt everything shaking, so I just held on to the doorway and didn't really realize. My first thought was I heard the siding ripping off the house. It sounded like the siding. And so many people have said, well, what did it sound like? Well, I remember it was loud. I remember crashing, but how many sounds can you hear or remember in that short of a time? And I, someone said, how long did it last? I said, how long does it take to scream Roger three times? Because that's about all the longer it lasted. And when we came around the corner, I, I heard him holler my name, so I, that was just like, everything was okay then, you know. I seen one car was hit and flipped over, was another one that just, it looked it like it had lifted up and just put it over there. We, we just could not believe what we saw that day. We just, it looked like somebody had actually dropped a bomb on the plate. That's exactly what it looked like. I seen one metal sign, it was twisted up, and I was like, man, I've never in my life seen anything like it. After the tornado, uh, I was really pretty much in shock for the first couple weeks and just operating on numb probably, which was, which was good. It probably kept me from having a, a meltdown. But uh, since then, coming back to the house is hard. Uh, and every time you come back, it looks a little worse. It's, um, as it sits in the weather and falls apart a little bit more. Um, that's, that's been hard. But coping with it um, after the event and in the past couple months, it's, it's helped having so many other people that are going through the same thing. And you hate that because you don't wish that on anybody else. But it helps to know that you're not alone and you're not dealing with things alone and you learn from each other. You know, someone will go through something and you'll learn through their circumstances, you know, how to avoid some problems, some potential problems. So, um, on, during the really difficult times, the thing that's helped the most is just talking to the other people that are our neighbors or um, are just remembering that it could have been a lot worse. I know a lot. I was talking to my neighbor last, yesterday, and she said, 
Like she still has a lot of stress over it. Um, but I think my biggest stress was getting things done after, you know. Uh, normally, like I said, I don't let things bother me. But uh, just not being able to get my siding on my house was just getting so frustrating to me. All that night, I couldn't sleep. I was real jittery. Every little noise got on my nerve. I, 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 I kept saying to myself, I, I, know, I know it's going to be okay, but this, it, it just, my nerves was just gone. My nerves was gone. And every five minutes, I kept saying, Ma, do you sleep? Ma, do you sleep? He said, no, I'm not sleep. You sleep. So I'm not going to sleep. Because I was scared. I was really scared. And all night long, all you could hear was the sirens blowing, 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 blowing. I said, my God, when is it going to end? When is it going to stop? There's no place like home. I think that's the biggest thing. And, you know, when you think of all of everything in your life, all the stressful things that happen, happening all at once. And they said about, they, the Red Cross volunteers were wonderful. And they, they said about, um, you know, that so many times marital problems happen then because you're under so much stress. And that was that scared me worse than anything. I thought, oh no, <laughs> we've been married. We've just been married 20 years, and I thought, oh my, I don't want anything to happen there because we have a good relationship, I think. And that scared me. I can see why because you're both under the most stress you'll probably ever be in your life. After everything was all over with, um, for that evening, you know, I I was kind of a little bit, you know, I was still in awe. I was. You know, I was thinking that we were, we were going to have another one and another one was going to occur, but I was still wondering if I, the whole time I was, my thoughts were on other people as well. You know, I was, I was concentrating on thinking about other people, you know, how they, you know, if everyone else was saved, you know. I have always been a worry ward. But after this tornado, I decided I am not going to worry about things anymore. It's all in the hands of the good Lord. I just hope he knows what he's doing. I trust him, and whatever comes will come. But I, I just don't worry anymore like I used to. It's no use. As I say, I've spent half my life worrying and didn't do a bit of good. <laughs> and just one morning I woke up, I looked around, I said, I'm in love. I love this little apartment. I had to be a fool to say I didn't like it. And every morning that I wake up, I'm in love all over every day. And I thought, why do I back to little plate? I thought, well, we're still standing. <laughs> I, w I hope that I learn to not put my value into the, into the stuff, that it's the people and it's the families and it's not the, th it's not the things that you have that are the most important. And I think that's been, you know, driven home to me during all this. Other than, other than that, I would hope that I would take away a sense of the real need to volunteer and help other people when, when situations like this or something as bad as this happen again bec because that was really made a difference for us to have that help and that support. And we got the apartment and everything is okay. Everything is coming along slowly but surely. We're far from the worst but we're far from the best but we're making it. We're making it. And every day we, we, we come along stronger every day. Every day we're coming on strong. It's getting better. It's getting better. It's getting better. And and you got to keep your you got to keep your trust in God. I made up my mind. I, I said, I'm not gonna complain. I'm not. For, ever since that storm came through, I try to look at life different. I'm not gonna complain. It had to be a reason why God kept us here. It had to be a reason why He kept us here. But I look at life. Life is life is good. Life has been good to me. Life has been good to both of us. Life has been good to both of us. I'll never ever complain as long as I live. Never. Life is beautiful. Mm -hmm.